Hello Curious and welcome back. Over the weekend Angelina Jolie has made many people talking about her and for the first time in months, if not years, it had nothing to do with her children, Brad Pitt or their custody battles. It seems that Miss Jolie is ready to move on and find love again and as many Hollywood A-listers had recently been doing, she might have gone back to her ex-husband. And then, no, clearly we're not talking about Pitt, but her first husband, elementary actor Johnny Lee Miller. But why had these rumors surfaced up on the internet? And when were the two actors together? And what was the initial reason for their split? What was their relationship like in the past? And has Brad said anything about these rumors? Stay with us until the very end to find out all about the two possibly rekindling their love. But before we continue, don't forget to turn on the notifications and subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our future videos. It seems that Ben Affleck and Jennifer Lopez getting back together had started some kind of reaction in the world of Hollywood as suddenly everyone is getting back with their exes, or there are rumors that they had. And if you want to know more about Benifer and them getting back together then you can check out our previous video by clicking on the link above. But for now, make sure to stay with us until the very end to learn about Joe Lee. Though ever since Ben and JLo got back together again, many internet users had begun reminiscing about the iconic Hollywood couples from the 90s and early 2000s or about actors who everyone thought should be together but for one reason or another, they never became an item. Though when it comes to the couple who feature in today's video, not many people had talked about them and there could be several reasons for that. And given that Ada Jolie's previous marriages and relationships the most talked about ones press-wise were certainly the ones to Billy Bob Thornton and Brad Pitt. And it is almost as if many of them had forgotten that she was actually married to Miller and it could also have been due to the fact that in the grand scheme of things, their relationship didn't last long or maybe some of you are a bit younger to even remember that and the most memorable of her relationships was that with Brad Pitt. And before anyone says anything, there is nothing wrong with that. But anyway, let us move on. Before we get talking about the two of them and the reasons for their marriage to have failed and why people think that they are back together, well, let's talk a bit about Johnny himself. And just in case some of you don't know who he is, we'll give you a quick rundown. Jonathan Lee Miller was born on November 15th of 1972 in Kingston up in Thames, which is located just outside of London. And his acting career goes back to 1982 where at the age of 10 he appeared as an uncredited extra in the British hit series Doctor Who. Though the roles that had brought him success and recognition were those of Simon Sickboy Williamson in the dark comedy drama Train Spotting in 1996 and a year prior to that, Dade Murphy in Hackers. Though one of the other roles that have brought him success and even more recognition is that of Sherlock Holmes on the hit CBS series The Show Elementary which fans of the show will remember as a modern update of the classics written by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. And the show had run from 2013 to 2019 with a total of 7 seasons which had even seen him direct 3 episodes. But for now, let's look at how this couple has met. It happened on the set of the 1995 crime movie Hackers. And at the time, the two of them were just two unknown actors as Lee Miller's breakthrough wouldn't happen until the following year. And Angie's happened in 1998 with the movie Gia. But in some way, the love that bloomed between them was really quick. But it actually took some time and according to thethings.com, the two had fallen in love while filming but after production wrapped up, they were not that much in touch. And though they had later reconnected, which in turn made them realize that they loved each other and on March 28th of 1996, the two got married when he was 22 years old and she was 20. While their engagement and marriage was very quick, Angie would later reveal in an interview with The Sun that the duo had discussed the possibility of remaining engaged for a longer period of time and in her own words, Jolie said that we both proposed to each other and both had asked questions. Like as if we wondered if we should stay engaged for a while since he was going to be in Britain and I would stay in LA but we went for a quick wedding. So as we mentioned before, the ceremony took place on March 28th of 1996 and the ceremony wasn't as glamorous as you think many Hollywood weddings are. And according to InStyle magazine, there were only two guests in attendance who were Jolie's mother, Marcia Lynn Marshalline Bertrand and the other one being one of Johnny's friends. According to their reports, the bride wore a pair of rubber trousers and a shirt with her husband's name written on it in blood. And many had suggested that everything leading up to the couple saying I do was totally improvised. And Angelina talked about her wedding outfits at a later date and said, I went in black leather pants. I had pants with a zipper that go from back to front. 
He stuck a veil on me on the last second and put a garter on the pants. Of course, she also talked about the blood, to which many said it seemed odd. Um, it's your husband, you're about to marry him, you can sacrifice a little to make it really special. Though here it is worth pointing out that it's not the first time that blood has played a part in one of their relationships. And as some of you might remember, during her relationship to Billy Bob Thornton, as at the time the pair wore veils of each other's blood around their necks. And if you want to know more about her and Thornton's controversial love, you can do so by watching our previous video, to which the link is being currently displayed above. But for now, make sure you stay with us until the end to find out more about the latest development in the Jolie Miller relationship. Prior to their wedding, Johnny was living in the UK, but following their marriage, he had relocated to the Los Angeles area so he could be with his wife. And though their happiness as husband and wife was short-lived, as a year after they tied the knot, they announced that they had split. But given that they were both young and it was the start of their careers, it was most likely turned out that having a relationship wasn't as easy as they had expected it to be. And while they had split a year after they got married, it wasn't until 1999 that Angelina actually had filed for divorce. And the official reason was never stated, but from what both of them had said, they were just young and didn't understand what marriage meant. And Jolie, who was often seen as a free-spirited and friendly person, said in an interview that she felt chafed and in the marriage that she lost her identity. You're suddenly somebody's wife and you're like, oh, I'm half of a couple now. I've lost me. And we went on some morning show and they threw rice on us and they gave us toasters and I was thinking, I need to get myself back. And as many of you will know, in 2000, Jolie married Billy Bob Thornton and later with Brad Pitt. And as for Miller, it seemed that he took time to focus on his career as it wasn't until 2006 that he began dating actress and model Michelle Hicks. And this time, it seemed that his marriage wasn't a rushed one as the two tied the knot two years later in July of 2008 and a ceremony that took place in Malibu. And they have one son, Buster Timothy Miller, who was born in December, the very same year they got married. But after 10 years of being married, uh, the pair got divorced in 2018. Though, what has happened that after all of these years made people talk about the two of them as a couple again? Well, for the record, they had stayed quite good friends despite their split. And when Jolie had the premiere for her movie, In the Land of Blood and Honey, Johnny attended it to support her directorial work. And in an interview, Miller had spoken in the past about their relationship and he said, There are no regrets and no bitterness. Marriage was something that didn't work out. And I had to make the decision sooner or later. I decided to make it sooner. And when one once asked about what comes to her mind when someone mentions the movie Hackers, Jolie replied, Well, oddly, love. That's where I met Johnny, who is still a great friend, so I think of him when I think of that. And when she reflected on their past relationship, she said that they had never fought or hurt each other, and that she really wanted to be his wife, and that she really wanted to commit to it. But could now be the perfect time for both of them to look back at their past love and try again? Well, maybe. Recently, Joe Lee was seen leaving Miller's apartment building in the Brooklyn neighborhood of Dumbo, where, according to E! News, the train spotting actor has a $3 million home. So, Page Six posted photos of the actress arriving at the building with a bottle of high percentage beverages. And according to the publication, she arrived alone and left about three hours later. Perfect time for a catch up. Given that Jolie lives in Los Angeles, did she jet across the country to be with her possible new man? Well, not entirely, as according to People magazine, she had been in the Big Apple with her six children as a late celebration of her 46th birthday, and according to sources close to the family, they had been enjoying time out as a family, visiting museums, and just hanging out. So do you curious think that she had taken the opportunity in town to visit an old friend, or could there be more to this? But People Magazine reckons that the visit might have been a bit more innocent, and we mentioned that Johnny has a 13-year-old son, Buster, and the publication suggests that the reason that Angie was visiting him was that her son, Knox, is friends with him, and that he was also present during the visit. Though the photos that Page Six had published had only shown Jolie without her son. So what do you think, Curious? And the ever most important question, has Pitt said anything about this reunion being romantic or not? Well, as far as we can tell, uh, though seeing that the reports that Angelina might want to appeal for the court's decision to grant Brad custody of their children, he might have other things on his mind right now. And in May, a judge ruled in favor of the World War Z actor to share joint custody despite Jolie's previous claims of alleged domestic violence. And according to Us Weekly, court records indicate that the former celebrity power couple has a 
another hearing set for July 9th, where her appeal will be heard by three justice panels. And as for the Independent, both of their attorneys have given time to present their arguments. And if you want to know what allegedly went down during their last stretch of their custody battle, you can do so by checking out our previous video by clicking on the link above. So curious, what are your thoughts on these rumors surrounding Angie and Johnny? Would you like for them to get back together? And do you think that the visit was just a catch-up, a kid's play date, or something more? And do you think that following the appeal, Angie could get full custody of the children? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below, and as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. So see you guys next time!